welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome to the channel so in my last video I talked about wanting to make a video about legitimate stay-at-home not even stay-at-home legitimate job opportunities for moms because I'm just at a point where I'm so frustrated with all of the scams that are out there all of the people that claim to have a flexible or mom friendly job but that it's actually not so i made a list of 10 legitimate ways to make money as a mom these are 10 very different things there's a lot of different things um but i think that that's great because there's something for everybody so I'm just gonna kind of get into it I made a list of 10 like I said we're just gonna go through them one by one and I hope that this in some way helps um, somebody who is in the same situation where I have been in which is just struggling to find something to do as a mom to make money have a social outlet all of that stuff so let's get started so the first one it's gonna be the most basic one and no it's not basic in the aspect like if you do this there is no shame in it it is a great safe easy way to make money and that is bookkeeping so a lot of companies need somebody to do bookkeeping for them moms have the perfect schedule and flexibility for what a lot of companies are looking for because it's something that you can do at home um, or even just kind of on your own time but bookie bookkeeping this is something that I have not seen a whole lot of listings for but I've heard from friends who do it that if you reach out to companies or if you just happen to know um, somebody that owns a company you can always ask them if they're looking for somebody to do this and it typically is something that helps them out a lot and it gives you the ability to make money so that's <laughs> Not a lot of much, uh, not a lot of detail there, but that is an option. Number two is working with Amazon. Now there's two different ways that you can do this. There are Amazon jobs like Amazon Fresh, um, Amazon Warehouse jobs, and the reason that I think that these could be good for moms is because a lot of them, specifically, I know Amazon Fresh, give you the ability to work kind of odd hours. Um, you can. Pick your own schedule I've heard on their app um, for Amazon Fresh and you can pretty much it's very flexible um, and then the other one with Amazon is being an Amazon seller now this is a little bit different this one takes a little bit more work and thought process going into it but being an Amazon seller there's a few ways that I have heard of doing this which is um, number one there's the people that basically find a product at a lower value somewhere else and then they turn around and sell it for a higher price on Amazon and what that could look like is let's say you know that you can get a product for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and then you sell it on Amazon for five dollars um, you could either do direct fulfillment and have Amazon fulfill the orders for you if you already send them an inventory or if you um, wait until you get orders put in then you can just um, do it for each order if that makes sense at all if you're an Amazon seller and you have more feedback um, or any better way to describe this to help me out feel free to comment that but yeah I've heard of a lot of different ways to be an Amazon seller I would definitely look into it if that's something you're wanting to do um, I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that are specifically talking about being an Amazon seller and all the different routes to do that um, and like I said this is gonna be a really quick list this is just because I hated when I'm um, looking for something like that something that has bothered me is wasting a bunch of time and then something not being something that I'd actually be interested in so number three uh, is thing is like different apps that you can work for so shipped um, I can't think of the other one instacart so there's shipped and instacart those are both grocery delivery services there's Grubhub uh, uber eats things like that um, the reason I'm not saying Uber specifically or Lyft is because I don't find those to be 
super, super women friendly and mom friendly because there have been a lot of instances where people have been in bad um, situations doing those specific jobs. So I'm talking more of the ones where you're delivering something so you're completely on your own. You don't have to pick anybody up. You don't have to work with strangers. The, the biggest extent would be actually dropping off the product at the customer's house. So I think those are really great. Now those obviously, are, they're not gonna make you a million dollars. They're not guaranteed to make you a whole lot of money, but it's something that if you have the flexibility to just work whenever you need a little bit of extra cash, those are definitely great options for that. Um, and I will say too, depending on the area you live in, depends on how much in demand those are because where I live at, I thought it would be a good option, but it actually, People don't really use that because I had signed up to do shipped um, and I think it's a great platform I think you can make a lot of money I've heard of a lot of people making a lot of money however you definitely need to live in an area where people are using it a lot or you're wasting more time than you're getting out of it so that's that um, number four is gonna be being a tutor or teaching English online. Both of these I've seen being very legitimate options um, for moms. You can partner with a lot of companies that teach English online. That has been something that I don't think I would be good at, but I definitely know that there's women who are really good at teaching um, and could probably benefit from that a lot. And I think they pay really well. I think they pay like 20 to 30 dollars an hour so the pay is pretty good tutoring same thing um there's a lot of ways to go about that there's agencies that you can get a job with there's um you could do it privately you can just offer yourself to families you could do something like getting on care.com there is a place on there and with that care.com you can also do babysitting and things like that which we'll get to but um that was number four number five this one is something that definitely you would have to have an artistic um, eye, which is um, flipping furniture or thrifted items. So there's a lot of places you can go. Um, for example, there's Habitat for Humanity, um, resale places, there are thrift stores, you name it, find garage sales. Um, Facebook marketplace find people that are getting rid of old furniture and make it new people love paying money for furniture especially whenever it is unique um, and you can be shocked by how much money you can make doing this you could find a table or a dresser or a chair or whatever for free on um, Facebook or wherever and then flip it just put a little bit of money into the product. So paint, um, chalk paint is really good. Um, look into things like that and then flip it and sell it for a couple hundred bucks and you're set. Like that is great to have money for food, um, clothes for your kids, you name it. That's a fun way to do it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you think you'd be good at that, that's definitely an option. Um, number six is in-home childcare. So this one can be a little bit, I don't want to say lucrative, but this one definitely, um, you want to consider all aspects before you do it because even though childcare seems like an easy thing, there are a lot of potential problems. I guess that can happen, especially bringing kids into your home. Um, there, certain states require certain licensing to be doing it legitimately and to basically make sure you don't get in trouble. Um, I remember about a year ago hearing about a woman that actually lives near us in Colorado that was doing an in-home daycare and got um, in a lot of trouble because she had like 20 kids and it was just her watching them and there are restrictions just like a daycare there are restrictions for safety um, that basically say that per adult there can only be so many kids and she was breaking that and she wasn't licensed to be offering in-home childcare. 
obviously there's ways to do this um, that are not on paper if you get what I mean um, more of like a hobby income however if you are gonna be doing it more on a full-term basis uh, you definitely might want to look into insurance and um, licensing and just making sure you're covered so that you don't get in trouble with the state because getting fined would probably cost you a lot more than what you could potentially make so you don't want to do that um, but I have considered doing it I wouldn't mind bringing kids into my house my problem is that I live in an apartment at the moment and even whenever I lived in a house I just felt wrong bringing kids into a rental um, I would definitely consider it if I owned my house but it's just not something that I can do at the moment um, so the next one is something that I'm personally doing um, which is photography or really any hobby that you're good at that you can make money from so for photography is a popular one um, I do photography and videography and I there's a lot of potential to make money with those but you obviously have to be business driven you obviously have to be willing to put in the work put in the marketing find a client base all of that stuff but there's so many ways to do this if you have a hobby that you love so let's say you're good at I live in Colorado so let's say you're really good at skiing and snowboarding people pay hundreds of dollars to have a professional um, teacher teach them or their kids how to do this and if you know that you can teach them do it and charge a little bit less than the professionals offering it and make some money um, so that's a good way or you know if if I don't know I could offer photography classes which I'm, I won't do because I'm I'm definitely not um, the best um, but there's a lot of things that you can do if you know that you're good at something, if you're good at sewing or I don't know, really, if you're good at something, find a way to use that hobby to make money from it. Um, and there's just, there's so many ways to do that, but just keep that in mind. If you already are spending so much time doing something, you might as well make some money from it. Um, number eight is a little bit of a gross one for some people. Um, and that is cleaning houses. So this is something that when I was a kid, my mom actually did and my friend's mom did. Um, and they were, they were cleaning uh, model homes, so it wasn't like houses where people were living in. But there's, um, you can basically market yourself or just put yourself out there if you're on any like local Facebook pages or, you know, I don't know there's so many platforms to do these things but offer yourself to clean somebody's house you can make I don't know you can make 30 40 even 50 dollars an hour depending on how good you are where you're doing it at all of the, all of that good stuff um, so yeah cleaning people's houses you can definitely make some good money doing that and it's very flexible with hours being a mom you could do really early mornings late nights People are really flexible when it comes to that or cleaning offices or businesses. Um, that's another really popular one just because um, it's not quite as gross as cleaning somebody's personal house and filth and all of that stuff, but um, you can make some really good money doing that on a routine basis. Number nine is being a social media manager for businesses. So. A lot of bigger businesses already have somebody that's doing that for them but if you find somebody that just started up a business or you there's a business nearby that you can tell that they could benefit from doing a little bit more with their social media platform offer reach out to them tell them hey I would love to take over managing your social media this is how much I would charge now I will be honest you can't make a whole lot of money doing this if you're just doing it for one company one company might pay something like 50 100 200 dollars a month to manage their social media platform however if you're taking on five ten businesses and you're doing it you could make a good chunk of money each month which could help with a lot of bills so um and if you're really tech savvy too you're really good at social media you know how to work the algorithms and how to get um good 
feedback and business from that, then definitely I think that that's a great um, option if you're just needing a little bit of cash each month. Number 10 is the most obvious that you will probably ever hear or see the most um, frequently done, I would say, by most um, moms, and that is working a part-time job that just works with your spouse or your partner or whoever's schedule. Um, so waiting tables, uh, bartending, um, gosh, any literally any part-time job that you can think of if the hours work well. Coffee shops are great because you can do really early mornings. Um, bars are great because you can do late nights. So thinking things like that, things that could work around um, somebody else's schedule so that your spouse or like I said, whoever. Um, because I know in my situation, Jonas works full time and I am the one that has to kind of play catch up and work around his schedule. So it's something that I've looked into a lot. Obviously this year, this whole entire past year with everything going on has been so hectic that not a lot of the jobs that I would personally apply to have been hiring, um, specifically like bartending and stuff like that, just because there's bars haven't been open. And also I don't want to put myself in a position where I get a job that potentially could close down or anything like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I hope it, some of this helped you guys. I don't know if this is really basic information that just it, everyone already knows. But I've just been in a situation where I'm kind of back at ground zero trying to figure out what to do because I need to make a little bit of money. I've told you guys my plans. Um, I'm launching my own business and I think that if you can launch a business, if you have something that you're good at or you enjoy doing, do it. Like The worst thing that can happen is that you don't make money, but that's already the situation that you're probably in if you're watching this. So if you need immediate income, do something like a part-time job, get yourself going and then launch your own business, you know, do something like that. But there are legitimate ways um, to make money as a mom and don't fall into the trap of a lot of scams. It's funny because I was talking about this to my husband and I got online and there was scam websites saying make $1,800 a day and stuff like that. Like, if it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Like, there's not a job that is gonna pay you to work from home and pay you $1,800 a day, unless you're like the CEO of a company, which you're probably making a lot more than that. But I'm just saying, most of the times that you hear stuff like that, it's not legitimate. So, I've heard a lot of people that have fallen into that trap and have put in 40, 80 hours or more and then never got a paycheck or even worse, at the company, the legitimate company asked them to wire funds or do anything like that. If a company is asking you to pay to get started, allow them to transfer a lump sum of money into your account. Um, if they're asking a lot and it seems like a red flag, it's probably a red flag and you should probably run in the opposite direction because there's just really, it's it's really hard being in that position because you wanna find something that sounds too good to be true because as a mom, you already feel like you're stretched so thin on a daily basis that you just need something to be easy income. But legitimately, it's, probably just not a good idea to do those things um yeah that's the biggest thing is i just it makes me really sad i have heard a lot of stories of women um moms and things like that that have been put in these positions where they've been scammed and that just makes me so sad so try some of these things out if they work for you great if you're already doing it Cool. Um, let us know how it's working for you because I know when I'm looking all over the internet and, and trying to come up with ideas for myself, I'm looking for personal feedback. So if you're doing any of these things and they're working for you, please comment that and let us know. 
Um, but that's pretty much it. I just, I, since I'm going through this right now, I just want to help for anybody else that might be going through it. Um, it's a frustrating position to be in. It's, it just feels like the United States is not very work friendly for moms. Um, other countries I've heard have like a year, two year maternity leave and that just blows my mind. But obviously it just works out so much better for them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Um, I'm going to end it here. I hope that it helps you in some way. I know that some of these things have definitely helped me just seeing it in front of me and, and implementing it. So anyways, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.